Both of our surfers in this semi-final number two have fought through an intense, deep field of QS competitors. Well, guess what, Pete? No restart. What? 29 minutes, 36 seconds on the clock. So, serious paddle for a wave that could potentially start this heat off. It does, Tomas Hermes now on the board. Big backside whip. Tomas has proven lethal on this inside section. So quick. He pumps his way through to the beach. Able to fit one quick turn in. Up in the lip, late hit, pulls it off clean. Tomas Hermes is now on the scoreboard. You know, not an easy wave to be able to hit that thing vertical, and he does. Again, he's smaller framed, so that's going to be helpful for him. He's lighter, but he's really strong. And then see this, just gets the board weaving back and forth. No hop there. He's going to weave. And he's going to have so much time to be able to commit these last few maneuvers there and pack them in. Again, not looking rushed. Thousand points. That's roughly halfway to qualification, showing the importance of this event. Hermes now on the inside, picking off a wave midway back to the outside. And again, it's so easy for him. Makes that easy transition. Now cuts right, speeding down the line, looking for the ramp. Again, going to the extended float. Looking like a stand-up 50-50 grind there as he... We'll shorten it up, just like we do with nicknames. So on his way out, flipped it, caught and, this quickie. And how does he even get the board up and over the whitewash and then keep the speed going? I mean, he went into deep water instantaneously. And then here, again, ton of speed, hangs it up there for a while. I like that he kept it up there, too, because he could have came down real quick. And why I think that it's part of the case, too, is that this wave being that pretty much 100% of surfers riding high-performance equipment. Happened during the break. Both surfers up and riding, Pete. First time I've seen Tomas not make it into the inside, and there you go, front side rail grab, air reverse. The front side reverse, no problem for Carlos. I've seen him do that a lot, but not a lot in this competition, so he's showing us a little something new. What has he got on the inside? A lot Superman! Of speed. <laughs> Carlos Munoz putting on a show for the crowd. Look at this turn on the outside, though, but Tomas, whack, just the one big hit. And this is the first time we have yet to see that connection happen so easily for him. Next to the pier, and this way flattens out and can't get over the hump. I mean, that would have been the makes of a good, good score. Chris Cote here with Pete Mel. Pete, talk us through this. Epic wave from Carlos Munoz. Carlos Munoz gets that outside maneuver, goes for the front side rail grab, air reverse, pulls it down, and now looks for that all important inside connection. This is his first wave in the seat, so he needs to make it count. Gets into the section inside, goes for the Superman, lands, no! And that was that's, critical. That's the problem, is it just wasn't, it wasn't clear enough that it was a make. I mean, he did put the feet back on, he lands in the explosion, and that's the danger of that type of aerial, is that you are gonna be landing in such a hard manner. It, it, the equipment, I mean, it's just like, if you look at another sport, we'll get back to that. Tomas Hermes now, again, so sparky. Taking off, quick hit on that inside section, or I should say the midpoint section. Now he speeds through to this inside, arcing turn. A kind of an awkward look to the inside, but powers through. Hermes now, feeling it. And now again, back-to-back -back action. Munoz, he's trying to decide which way to go on the inside. He'll go to the backhand, up into the lip, vertical in the shore break. Really good read for Carlos Munoz there. I mean, Love difficult to, to know which way to go. Generally, you favor whatever you feel most comfortable, but that time he looked over his shoulder. That right kind of shut down. Let's see what he does on the outside. Goes straight up into the whitewash as he transfers into the next wedge and tags it again. Wow. So two turns on the outside. Haven't seen a lot of that today. And then, again, so important to make it to the inside. And then you got to complete on the inside. Again, looks over his shoulder. Whoa, okay, let's go this direction now. And slams it shut. So three solid moves. Going to be his best wave 
And he's going to put some pressure onto Tomas. Let's see what Tomas does here. So smaller wave. But this turn again, so quick in transition. That's part of that speed. You want to see combination of major moves. Didn't get, wasn't able to get that. Where we saw Carlos get those combination of major moves outside. But again, so easy for him to make that transition and then just Whoa. tomahawks Whip that thing. Well. That basically is connected to a, a real-time buoy that's saying, hey, in three minutes we've got a, a set coming. Oh, I that mean, that's not far off, we'd right? We'd never be that able to suffer there. the joy of being caught inside. Uh, <laughs> She's looking, looking really good. 10 minutes, 52 seconds to go. Hermes in the lead. His last score comes through a 6-6-7. Carlos Munoz drops a 6-0-7. Ooh. A tight heat. Ladies and gentlemen, your second finalist here in the 2017 Vans U.S. Open of Surfing QS 10,000 is Tomas Hermes. Huge congratulations to Carlos Munoz with that equal third place, 6,500 points which moves him into the first page probably into the top 30 going into the back half of this season